after your raya, after your eat break, um, long break actually, come back, you open your laptop, you open your chapter, your proposal, open up a blank screen and probably thinking, what should I do now? Where did I left? How would I want to continue into my, you know, chapter proposal writing and so on? Before we get into it, I have six important methods for you to quickly speed up your writing process. Before we get into that, hit the like button, follow button, subscribe button and like button as well. So after your, your eat celebration, you know, after a long break, before you get started, re-synchronize what you did. Okay, that means open the chapter, quickly go through, re-synchronize and recall what you actually did with the previous write-up. Okay, and get into it. That's the most important thing. You have to recall what you did. Okay, so that you know exactly how to quickly, um, you know, um, continue doing what you did. With that, number one, make sure that you start a table of content. Okay, what is table of content? Uh, table of content is basically uh, a very detailed plan of what you want to write, whether in your proposal chapters one to three, or even in your thesis, uh, whatever remaining as part of thesis chapters four and five. For those who don't know how to design a table of content, good news for you, we have 14 to 15 uh, free templates, okay? I will tell you at the end of the session today on where you can download um, the templates, okay? So I literally have a very much comprehensive table of content for a thesis, okay? So design that first. Okay, very detailed one. That means chapter 1, 1.1, what do you want, 1.2, what do you want, 1.3, what do you want, and so on. Okay, so with that, don't forget, in order to further assist you, I'm also uh, conducting a free, uh, a few video classes. Okay, structuring a complete thesis, how to, you know, publish in high impact journal, literature review classes, and so on and so forth. So stay tuned until the end. I will tell you how to download, uh, oh, sorry, how to register for those classes. Okay, next thing. Uh, number one is the table of content. Number two, based on this table of content, okay, number two, eh? based on this table of content you need to decide how you're going to manage your time huh? before the next long break you need to manage your time very carefully if you watch back the the recorded classes that i had with dr aisa before before uh, raya before eat uh, dr aisa would have told um, isolation is very important okay i've known dr aisa for a very long time she's one of my consulti uh, consultees successfully completed her phd in six years she came to me towards the end and I know that is all history. Go and watch her classes, learn a lot from a powerful lady, how she managed to complete it, okay? Following that, total isolation, okay? That means, what, as what Dr. Aisa said, isolate yourself until probably the next break or so, next break or so, isolate yourself so you can focus on your thesis. With that, manage your time very well because you already designed your table of content, right? The first thing I told earlier, table of content. So based on the table of content, example, you can jot down background, I need two weeks uh, from chapter one. Introduction, I need uh, probably a few days. Uh, problem statement writing, I probably need two weeks, okay? Don't forget, as part of my template, uh, problem statement, background writing, all these are there, okay? I have very simple templates made up. Wait until the end, again, I'll tell you where to download those templates, okay? We have a bit of riddle at the end. Okay, so time management done, isolation done, number two is done. Okay, basically that. Um, number three, when you design this table of content, make sure that you go and meet your supervisor. Very important. Don't hide yourself from supervisor. Okay, don't go missing as well. That's very important. Your supervisor, end of the day, decides how your PhD is going to be. Trust me on that. Okay, I've been there, done that. So go to your supervisor, show your supervisor. Okay, this is my chapters one to three. This is how I break down my chapters one to three. Or go to your supervisor, show them chapters four and five. These are, these are the analysis I'm going to do uh, in my chapter four. This is the discussion I'm going to do in my chapter five. Get their approval first. That's very, very important to reduce any potential corrections. Okay, that is what normally we will do as part of our coaching program. That is how we will encourage students to go and communicate with the supervisor. I actually do that a lot. Okay, number four, before we get started, allocate one full day to download all the papers. Google Scholar, Scopus, Web of Science, you choose the databases. I have a list of databases you can choose from. Again, I'll tell you where to find those databases, okay? I mean, the links to those databases. 
allocate one day, download all the papers, okay, and then next day onwards, remember what I told you about isolation, disconnect from internet, read all those papers, start your proposal or thesis process already. Okay, going quickly into number five, this is very important, S downloading papers and putting them into folders, actually it's very interesting, I know I love it as well, okay, you just put that, look at it every day, feel very nice, right, but then if you don't read it, unfortunately it's not really very useful. So, without reading literature, without reading papers, it is very, very tough for you to complete your PhD. I have to be honest with you. So, make sure you put an effort to read those papers. At least one paper a week. Okay? That is number five. Final item, number six. As you read every paper, summarize the paper. Use my literature review summary template. I have that as well. And before you start reading, I also have literature review critical questions, 17 questions for you to ask when you read a paper. Use that to read the paper. And then once you already got all the information, use my template to summarize the information. And finally, build a literature matrix. All this information that you summarize, arrange them in a matrix. That also I have as a template. Okay. Once you already have a, a literature matrix, you can do a lot of extraction, research gap, uh, potential drive where the topic is going towards systematic literature review you know there are many things that you can do with, with that literature matrix okay so don't forget these are simple six steps to get your engine started so that you can keep moving okay next thing where do you download these templates okay where do you download these templates uh, where do you uh, go and register for my free upcoming classes and so on very simple I will post a link probably in the comment column, maybe, um, you know, wherever I can. Try to look for it, okay? Uh, it will be named as linktree.com slash Dr. Tava, okay? Click that link, you can see a button uh, saying request for journal thesis template or, oh, sorry, and all the free classes will be listed on top, register yourself. So we will meet very soon to continue discussing on this matter, okay? All the best to you.